And we're back, fellow knife enthusiast. I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. And like all our great episodes, we've got the newest fixed and folding knives for you. Fixed and folding. Mm-hmm. This episode is all about... She's still here. That's not what I was going to say. <laughs> well, in case they were wondering. Yeah, okay, just hold off there, okay? So this episode is all about... QSP, boom, Boker, and boom. CRKT. Boom. Along with a minor appearance from EOS. Boom. Yeah, so we've got a lot of gear to hit. Very little time. So let's get to the first item on the table, and that is the Boker AK-1. Can't beat that. We yeah. like the AK part already. Yep. They knew what they were doing. Yes, they did. Here are the specs. So this fixed blade comes in four versions. As you can see, there's black micarta and tan micarta. Mm -hmm. Both are offered in two different blade styles, made in... Song in Germany. There it is. Can't beat that. You know what? Say it That's a knife drop say, right say there. It quickly. The fixed blades are 6.77 inch overall with a 2.99 inch drop point blade. Yep, though it also comes in reverse tanto. Does it really? Yeah, blade. Wow. Yeah. I've always wanted like that. Blade is made of powder metallurgical RWL 34, which is a high performance stainless steel. Uh, ice hardened to about 61 to 2 on the HRC scale. Mm -hmm. Handle scales on this one are the tan burlap Macara and can be easily dismantled using the torque key provided. Very nice. Yeah. Finally, there's a lanyard hole and comes with a high quality black leather sheath yeah. with sewn in utility, ut, 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 <laughs> clip. Ulti clip. Yeah, you get that wrong you every right time. The first time. I, know, I know. And of course, it's Sports Boker's logo. logo right, so right. That's good. All for just $239 at $25. At AtlanticKnife.com, and there's the ding. Yeah. Okay. So, what are your thoughts on this one? Well, I just seen something that I hadn't seen before. Can I thank you seen kindly? Something that I hadn't seen before. No. Is it the uh, ulti clip? It's the lasering on the uh, oh, thing yeah, I was looking at. Okay. All right. So, here's where I'm at. I think it's a very nice knife, high quality steel. I actually like the design of the sheath. Do you? Yeah, I think it would really work out. Quality clip. Okay. But there are probably a few downsides too. Yeah. I do like that you can remove the scales also. Yeah, That's I important. think it's a decent, you know, little versatile knife. It can be perfectly adapted for your needs. You can add different scales or take off, take them off completely, and then. I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, you can make the lanyard hole disappear completely if you want. How do you do that, Joel? Well, you take the scales off. You know, screws out. Um, then you can, there's this little piece of metal inside that you can take out and flip it around. Wow. Yeah, so it'll be flush with the tang. There's a reference picture there because I'm not going to take it apart for you. That would take a while. In case you were wondering, you know, I have no idea what she's talking about. A little piece of metal. So, there's a picture. There it is. Awesome. Yeah. So, what do you think of this knife? I like it. I think it's a great fixed blade from Boker. Something a little different. The steel is high-end. It has excellent edge retention and corrosion resistance. Extreme edge sharpness. Easy to maintain. It's actually been a pretty successful steel so far. It's actually one of the components of Dama steel. Mm -hmm. So... But basically, this one's like uh, CPM 154 steel. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Oh, you talked about downsides earlier. It's higher in price. That's basically the downside. Uh, another positive, if you're planning on making your own blades out of it, I'm trying to cover all the bases here. I've read that RW 30, RWL 34 steel requires one times two hour uh, temper cycles. So that's less than something like LMAX, so you can just keep that in mind. Hmm. Just in case. That does bring us to our next knife. Yep. The CRKT shenanigan. In your funny accent, will you say magically delicious? <laughs> uh, no? Okay. So this is the reintroduced classic folder from CRKT. Available in two different versions. There's the maroon or the red one and the black one. This With. one's got the plain edge and the black one has the vefserations. Ah, I like yes. vefserations. Designed by Ken Onion, this assisted opening liner lock is 8.19 inch overall once you fully extend it and features the IKBS ball bearing pivot system. Mm -hmm. It has smooth opening along with a 3.35 inch drop point 1.4116 black stone wash blade. That's a lot. 
The handle on this version is a <laughs> maroon green. TRN glass, glass reinforced, reinforced nylon. nylon. I was going to say a moron green. <laughs> That's great. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. Uh, it's all right. Which they features just a touch of jimping. Which is the name of my new band. Which is? Touch of jimping. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We're a Scottish rap group. Scottish rap group. Mm -hmm. Not a Swedish rap Everything group? Everything in Scotland's great. That's what I've heard. <laughs> you know what I heard? What? Their official... Uh, animal is the unicorn. I heard that too. Figured it'd be do, do you know what their official mother-in-law is? It's the baboon. Is it? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Is you it have to ding it that should too, be wearing a way. kilt. <laughs> okay, so blade is deployed through the cover up all its glory. Jimped flipper stud. Finally, this shenanigan is anything but a joke as it sports a lanyard hole, yes, and a low profile tip up pocket clip. Is it tip up? Or what did I say? Oh, I meant tip down. Oh, tip down. Okay, okay. I want to make sure. It's tip down. Thoughts it's tip down. on this model? I think it's a decent workhorse from CRKT. They have done something similar, such as the Shenanigan uh, Z Series, PPS, even the Tato mm -hmm. Blade ones. They even paired with Realtree once and did like a camo. Yep. I don't really like that. There's camo. been lots of shenanigans going on yeah. over the years. But is the CRKT's new CEO? No. I don't think it's as good as the CEO knife. However, I do like the minor tweaks they've added, and I do like the big VEF serrations on mm -hmm. this one. And the maroon color option is good, so what about you? I like it. I like the size of it. It's nice that it's, you know, larger now. Larger. Yes. I like how it opens smoothly, closes easily, one-handed. And don't forget the fat clip. Yep. <laughs> that was funny. One-handed. I know you were playing, but that's okay. You just do it like this. Yeah, I was playing. Gotta use your thumb. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, okay. that's the key. I've always done with my thumb anyway. Oh, so. All right. All right. So get into as much shenanigans as you want. That's it. With the latest version of the CRKT shenanigan. Available from AtlanticKnife.com. There it is. 6684. That's great. Yep. Okay. That leads us Right to our next knife, the Boker Bison. Right on. But like every week, we have to let you know that there's still time for you to enter our giveaways. So like, share, comment, subscribe. And ring the bell. Here on the YouTube, and you'll be entered to win the Ultra X Cobra. Mm -hmm. Courtesy of us and our amazing, awesome partners over at Ultra X. Awesome. They really liked the photos I took, so I had to give them a little something extra. <laughs> and so if yes, you answer awesome. the AK trivia question on Atlantic Life's blog, you'll be able to win the Ultra X Cobra. From? Our amazing partners over at Ultra X. You didn't say awesome. And use my pictures. You didn't take any pictures. Ah, touche. Oh. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. Well, so make sure you enter before it's too late. Mm-hmm. We've also been setting up our monthly grand giveaway. Yes, because we have one of those now. Yeah. I just feel like we have because last month we did like the then we did like the proponent or something. I can't remember. And then the time before that we did all titanium and the time before oh, that we did yeah. all the cold steel stuff. What she's telling you is at any time in any episode we could drop the big one on you. At any time, true. Yep. Hmm. So And we did wee ones a couple yeah, times. Wee Minux Minux just... and uh we did a Tools. Medford, didn't we? Yeah, oh, we I did Medford. Remember. See, we I thought we did some every month or every other you, month. So you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're good, Doc. You're good. All right. So, are you ready to move on to the yeah. Boker Bison? Bison. Yes. All right. So, we'll give them the specs here. Are you ready? Yep. Go ahead. This fixed blade carry comes in two different versions. Mm -hmm. There's a black G10 one whoop, whoop. and a... Wood one. Ah. What kind of wood is that, Jewel? <laughs> uh, Goya Yuckin. Oh, okay. Both are 9.2, whatever she said. 9.25 inch overall with a 4.13 inch bowler N695 steel blade. Mm -hmm. Uncoated, I might add. Oh. Yes, I like my blades Uncoated. without a coat. Do you? This full tang design includes a fluted spine. You get cold. I thought, you know you can do with that fluted spine, don't you? A thumb wrench, as well as... Did you hear yourself? Jimping. Okay. I didn't do the band camp thing. That's great. A well-defined choil and a lanyard hole. The tang mm -hmm. is also slightly extended past the handle scale. 
and can be used as a hammer plane. Stop the hammering. Mm -hmm. Finally, this heavy duty hunting knife for big game comes with a brown leather sheath on this one. So, hold on, let me show you. There it is. Look at that. That's Look nice. at that. That, that is, is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. And then we have the G10 one, which is right here, which is like so. Look at that. That's Once it's nice. in there, it's in there. Yeah, there but that's not coming out now. It's got a belt <laughs> loop. This one's got a belt loop. And you know what? What? I love these. They're pretty hefty, aren't they? So basically, this is a heavy duty hunting knife for big game. Comes with the black or the brown sheath. Big game. Yep, yeah, big game. Like yes. my mother in law. <laughs> that was too easy. Yes, you yes. You always it go was. for the easy. There. Speaking of my mother in law. Oh, of course. You know, we gotta officially let the shoe drop now because yes. we knew it was coming. Because you knew when we say something like, you guys aren't gonna believe this, but you believe this. So. Oh, at this yeah. point, I believe anything that woman is selling, mm -hmm. except magazine subscriptions. Yeah, I take okay. those because, you know. Ed McMahon ain't coming. No, he isn't. Carpet's in. That's good. The yep, carpet's she even, in. She even the called and in. said, hey, you know a place I can get a U-Haul? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. She's that quick? She's like, carpet's in. I'm like, I'm going to get a U-Haul. She U can't drive the U-Haul now. I've got to have somebody drive it for her. That's, yeah. that's a minor technique. It's not going to be me because that means just... load it for her. Look, she has to get the doors cut off or shaved on the bottom. What? Yep. They rub the carpet. Why didn't they think of that beforehand? Why don't you get a less high carpet? Oh, I think for to refer to that as a pile. That's great. Mm -hmm. how, um, that's like, what, 25 doors now? I don't know how Someone's many it is, but I'm sure down. it'll be a period of time. A period of time? Yeah. It's probably like we can't get in there June. to saw stuff until next year. I'll show to call somebody. You know, it's probably difficult to find the uh, door, door shaving guy. Yeah, I bet it is. I don't know what company does that. Who... who who works mm -hmm. in just door Call us shaving. at 888 cut your doors lower. Higher. Higher. Raise them up. Lower them down. Why don't you, just get rid of, know. you know what you should do? You should just suggest get rid of doors altogether. Go modern. Oh, yeah. Chic. Yeah, just walk through the walkway. She is a she is a Like one of those Mexican villas where they don't have doors, they just have those archways. Oh, yeah. That's a just good idea. Just do that. Idea. That sounds okay. good. That sounds great. I gotta go with that one. All Although, right. now that we're looking at this, I was pretty close to the whole spaceship crashing into the garage yeah that's that was, basically was we should have known yeah. like it's too easy i must have murdered some adorable puppies and an, another child or something in my lifetime to suffer through this ordeal so are you telling me that you were the uh <laughs> past version of flacamento there <laughs> at least there's a plus side to all this oh my gosh what yeah i don't have to suffer through it <sighs> yeah i didn't say it was a plus side for you though sorry how about... Nobody's going to know what that means. How about... What the fuck? Inside is it? joke. It is an inside joke. I hope to be a part one of one someday. <laughs> okay. How about... What do you think of this knife? Well, I said my piece. <laughs> I like it. It's, I think it's awesome. I like the size of it, too. I do. It's really nice. And I, I actually you like that there's no coating either. It looks like it's coated, but it's not. The haps. Um, Bowler in 6 95 Okay. About the quality of 440C, maybe a bit more because its cousins 690 and 680 are highly corrosive resistant, can be compared to H1, though they're not exactly. So don't go be jumping in my throat like H1's the best. Just, <laughs> just chill. They're just they're close. They do hold their edge well. It's ported from Austria, though these are made in Argentina. So mm -hmm. the steel is more capable of handling anything you choose it for. And it starts at only 101.21. At landknife.com. There it is. Where else would you look for it? Oh, this doesn't feel like G10. Alright, final knife up. Fine. You know which one it is? Yes. QSB yes, hamster. Yep. The elusive hamster. There it is. Trying to get this used to be new knife on the table for the past few weeks. And for once, it's not my fault. No, I take full blame. Alright. I just kept pushing it off because I wanted to have, you know, more even mix of folding and stuff. I got you. You got waist listed. I've never experienced it, but I hear it sucks. Mm, it sucks. So, yeah. so this knife has several color options. Whoop, whoop. Lucky us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Take. We have every single one of them here yep, today. Yeah, you can take credit for that too. Mm. Yeah. I'm a big hamster buyer. You are. So this frame lock comes in black, silver, and what's that, ladies and gentlemen? Green. What? Yes, I know. So. 5.125 inches overall with a 3.125 inch CPM S35VN steel blade with, that's right, a touch of Jempek <laughs> and a two-tone satin finish. 
is deployed through the jimped right there square flipper and has a cutting edge of about two inches. Handle is titanium and showcases a jimped backspacer slash lantern hole and a tip up pocket clip. And like all QSPs, comes with a box. Ah, yes, the box. I really like this box, and do you know why? Yeah, it's funny. Some of them just come with a little brown Faux, box. Yeah, oh. no, they all come with a box. But this one, this one comes with a faux red velvet <laughs> lining. What? Yeah. Like. Like what? Like. David Hasselhoff's bedroom. I set it up <laughs> yeah. for you. Oh, wait, that's fur line. Oh, well, just pretend he downgraded, okay, due to the cost of cleaning fur, okay? <laughs> there you go. Anyways, this little guy is available for just $139.95 at alignknife.com. There it is. We also wanted to mention real quick that EOS has added a few new minimalist wallets to their ever-growing selection. Yep, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So they now have two, two new titanium black and white geometric design ones and a green titanium one with carbon fiber. Yeah, I'm going to give you a close up. But guess what? Mm. I have adopted this one. Have you really? Yep. Mm. It's wow, you're, you're probably in the negative by now, aren't you? I, I, I'm pretty... I got lots of IOU post-its floating around. <laughs> I'll just have to pull like a, a fast Eddie Felsen. <laughs> That'll fix my cash flow problem. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. I bet it will. Yeah. Might be like a Minnesota Fats. How about that? Oh, I told you I was a pool hustler. I know. So, oh, I'm sorry. In that movie, it's billiards. No. It's a big difference. Actually, it is. But yeah. Okay, Gus. Next thing you'll be telling me is snooker isn't the same thing it's either. Not. <laughs> you know what? Your mama's an astronaut. A <laughs> mama ain't no astronaut. Anyways, that cleans the table. Billiards reference. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I want to stand up and be like, it can go from side to side, six to eight inches, along with ringing the bell. Please don't ever do that again. Yeah. Hey, <sighs> I can hear Jimmy. Okay, so you'll be entered in our giveaway for the Ultra X Cobra. And if you answer the AK trivia question, you'll be entered for the Ultra X Cobra. Completely different. Yep. All right, just throw it. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram, and... Parlor, which is about to get booted. Hey, look, I'm trying to post. It won't take my pictures. Mm -hmm. If I want to just put words up there, I'll go on that Tweety thing. Tweety thing. I don't like it. You know, you thought to, you thought you taught a what? <laughs> I thought I taught a putty tat. That's a good leave. With that... I'm C, and this is... Joel. Just Joel, and we are signing off.